For the Buffalo Bills, it's been a long, long year. For the Miami Dolphin, it's been a very good year. The Dolphins are in first place in the AFC East and seem to get stronger with each game. Rick Weaver, Lou Prickmer, and Henry Barrow back at a sun-drenched Orange Bowl in Miami. Charlie Lee back deep off to the far side of the field and Mercury Morris down the near side. Lee is averaging 24.8 yards on kickoff returns. And Morris, who led the AFC in uh, kickoff returns last year, is averaging 27.1 this year. We are waiting for the referee's whistle. Here it is. Leipold looks at the football. Rocks once. Comes forward. Gets the toe into it. He drills it high, and it's deep back into the end zone. Charlie Lee grabs it and steps out of the end zone, downs it for the touchback. And so the Dolphins will start from our 20-yard line. Once again, setting Miami's offense for you. Earl Morrow, the quarterback, Jim Kick, and Larry Zonka. The running backs, Twilly and Warfield, the wide receivers, Fleming, the tight end. Cruzan and Evans, the tackles, Kuchenberg and Little, the guards, and Langer, the center. Defensively for Buffalo, Potolsky, Croft, Patton, and Cowlings on the front line. Mike Stratton is starting at the left linebacker. Ken Lee in the middle. Dave Washington on the right side. Robert James and Tony Green are the cornerbacks, and Maurice Tyler and Wyatt are the uh, safety men. Kick and Zonka are the running backs, and the Dolphins having a little bit of a problem getting their running game established here early in the contest. Third down and ten, Dolphins from their 30-yard line. On the snap, Earl drops straight back to throw. He sets up, firing in the middle. Pulley, he's got it, takes a tackler. 50 to the far sideline, 40. Down to the uh, 35-yard line before he is knocked off his feet. Tony Green, the right cornerback, got him. They put the ball down at the 36-yard line in uh, Bill's territory. 34 yards from uh, Morrill to Twilly. Twilly is uh, a wingman right. Dolphins first down at the Bills, 36-yard line. Morris and Zonka, the eye formation backs. Here's the pitch to Merck. Sweep to the right. He's at the 35, 30, and knocked down. And out of bounds on the near side of the 28-yard line. Larry Little, the Dolphins all-pro right guard, through the block to swing him loose. It'll be a gain of eight. It'll be second down and two. Here's the handoff. Zonka, big hole in the middle, 25, 20, down to the 19-yard line. That's another Dolphin first down. Third down. And four, now Morris is motioned further out to the uh, near side of the field by Morrill. Morrill drops the throw. He fires. It is caught at the seven to the six-yard line by Howard Twilley. Twilley, who has been the principal receiver from Morrill's passes today, picks up a first down as they will mark the ball at the Bills' six-yard line. The tackle by Goodry, the linebacker. Second down and goal. Dolphins at the Bills' five-yard line. The power blocking two tight ends. Mandy Chan Fleming are both in there. From the Bills, five. Morrow barks the signals. Here is the handoff to Morris around the right side. He's at the four. Down to the three. Touchdown, Dolphins. And here come the handkerchief. A tradition established by yours truly last year during the Colts game. Whenever the Dolphins score, the white handkerchiefs are taken out and waved. A great block thrown by Larry Little to allow Morris to get in. Mercury gets his second TD from five yards out, and Garo Yapremian is in to try the point from placement. He has 13 out of 14. In the extra point department, Earl Morrow will hold. Here's the snap, a little bit high. He gets it up there, and it is perfect. With 7.32 left to play in the first quarter. Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. Our Dolphins seven, the Bills nothing. Offensively for the Bills, J.D. Hill and Bob Chandler are the wide receivers. The tight end is Jan White. O.J. Simpson and Jim Braxton are the running backs. Dennis Shaw is the quarterback. The tackles are Donnie Green and Dave Foley. The guards are Dick Hart and Reggie McKenzie. And the center is John Matlock. Third down and five. Bills from the 34. Shaw back to throw his first pass. He sets. Ball is deflected by a pass rusher and drops harmlessly to the ground for an incompletion. And so the Dolphins defense holds and coming in the punch for the first time is Spike Jones, who went to school at the University of Georgia. He is averaging 41.2 yards per kick. Here is the snap. He gets the kick out of there. A short kick off the side of his foot to the far side. It will go out of bounds. On the far side of the field, looks like they're going to mark it at the Dolphins' 45-yard line, which would make it about uh, 21 yards. So the Dolphins come up with excellent field position. There's a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. Our Dolphins 7, the Bills nothing. Rick Weaver back at the orange ball following Jones's 21-yard punt. The Dolphins have excellent field position. Second down and six. Morrill drops the throw. Has time. Fires. Warfield's got it. Knocked out immediately at the 35-yard line. On a slant in over the middle. 
Knocked out at the Bills. 36 is where they're going to put it down. As Morrow connects with a 15-yard pass to Paul Warfield. First down for the Dolphins. First down, Dolphins ball at the Bills' 36-yard line. Here is a handoff. Kick, sweep to the right, flag down. He gets the corner, turned down to the 30, inside the 30 to the 28. The penalty will be declined. The Dolphins will take the football and uh, the down and the gain at the Bills' 28-yard line. After the 8-yard pickup by uh, Kick, it'll be a second down and two. Second and two. Handoff, Zonka, big hole, 25, 20, 15, runs over a tackler in the 10. He's down to the 7-yard line. It's a first down and goal at the 8-yard line is where they put it down. And so give him a gain of two. It'll be third and goal for the Dolphins from the Bills' 2-yard line. Kick and Zonka remain the running backs. Somebody jumps from the Bills. Here's a handoff to kick through the right side. No indication as to whether he scored or not. There are flags down all over the place. Half the distance will set the ball down at about the one foot line. And the Dolphins, of course, will have the down over again. It'll be third down. Two minutes, 21 seconds to go in this first quarter. Dolphins lead 7-0. Knocking on the door once again is Earl Morrill, who has looked magnificent so far this afternoon. Dolphins break out of the huddle. In that tight blocking formation, Warfield, wingman, right kick, and Zonka split back behind Morrill. A handoff to kick. He tries to pound inside behind Zonka. And did he make it or not? No indication from the officials as yet. The kick was going over the right side, and he missed it by just inches. They set that power blocking unit. Kick and Zonka, the split backs, and behind Morrill. Fourth down and inches for a score. Morrill on the snap. Hands to kick. Bolt. Over the top, and he did not make it. He did not make it. He has stopped short of the goal line, and Buffalo's great goal line stand shuts them out. Dolphin football action continues as there's a timeout on the field from the Orange Bowl with a score of the Dolphins 7, Buffalo nothing. The Dolphins defense, Den Herter, Fernandez, Dunaway, Stanfield on the front line, Swift, Bonacani, and Cole on the linebackers, Foley and Johnson the cornerbacks, Scott and Anderson the safeties. Ball is out at the Buffalo 4. It'll be a third down. And we'll call it about six. Braxton and uh, O.J. are the running backs. Here's a handoff to O.J. trying to get outside to the right. Gets the corner turn. Belton out of bounds at the 10. And he did not make enough yardage for the first down. They put it down at the 10. He needed to get uh, about a foot or two beyond the 10-yard line. So they'll have to give up the football. The line of scrimmage, the Buffalo 10. He has the wind to his back with 37 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Here is the snap. He gets the punt out. The Dolphins put on a good rush. Low trajectory. Long kick. He got a beauty. Charlie Lee backs up to 31. Grabs it. Runs laterally to the near side. Looks for the hole. Shakes off a tackler. Still going. He is going to be dragged down back at the 28. There is the gun. They did not get the playoff. That's the end of the first quarter. Dolphin action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. Our Dolphins 7, Buffalo nothing. Let's revise that last punt distance off the toe of Spike Jones to 62 yards. Dolphins starting the second quarter from our right to our left, moving toward the west end zone. First and 10 to the 28. Here's a handoff, kick, hole in the middle. Fumbles the ball, picked up by Buffalo. 35 to the 30. Alvin Wyatt, the weak safety, and he has wrestled to the ground at the Dolphins 27. Kick was the man who was the ball carrier. And Larry Little made the tackle on Wyatt. The ball squirted loose as Jim was tackled. He had a hole over the left side. Looked like he might have some running room. The ball was jarred loose. Wyatt, the free safety, picked it up, and Larry Little, along with Doug Prusan, made the tackle. So the Bills get a break and have the ball at the Dolphins' 27-yard line. The end of two in the World Series. Oakland leads Cincinnati 2 to nothing. All right, the Bills, let's see if they can take advantage of it. That great goal line stand a moment. They shut the Dolphins out. A second down and 24. The ball back at the uh, Dolphins' 41. All right, the Dolphins insert now Bob Matheson on the prevent defense, and Dunaway comes out. This is uh, one of the variations of the 53. And he will either play at a linebacker or a defensive end and try to keep Shaw, the quarterback, guessing as to whether he is coming or dropping off. Fake uh, on the pass. Here's the handoff to Simpson on the delay. He goes over the left side and gets about a yard before Bob Matheson, playing at uh, a linebacker spot that time, made the tackle on the play. Bill Stanfield also in at a defensive end on the stop. Now the Dolphins insert uh, the extra defensive back. Lloyd Mumford comes in, replacing middle linebacker Nick Bonacani. A gain of a yard. It'll be third down and 23. Bills at the Dolphins 40. That was a good example of how effective that 53 defense can be when Bob out there confuses the man whether he's coming or going to stay. Chandler splits far side hill to the near side. Shaw has Braxton and Simpson. He drops the throw. Has time. Swings a screen. Braxton back at the 40. Since we lost the radio broadcast for the next 10 minutes of the game, here's what happened. The fourth down, the Bills have to settle for a 35-yard field goal. Now the score is 7-3, Dolphins. 
with 12.24 left to go in the half. The Dolphins are driving again on their next possession and on first and 10 from 35. Morrow hands off the kick. The kick runs for 11 yards to the 46 yard line. But that play is called back for holding and now it's first and 23 at their own 22. On the next play, Morrow goes back to pass. The next with Howard Twilley, who completes a 48 yard completion. But that play is called back for holding. And so it's first and 34 at their own 11. In the next play, Morrow hands off the kick and he loses two more yards. And now it's second down and 36 at the nine. On the next play, Morrow drops back underneath his own goal post Throws the pass, it's tipped, number 56. Al Andrews runs it in for a touchdown. And the Bills lead by a score of 10 to 7. In the next drive, the Dolphins are driving again. It's first and 10 at their own 46, and Jim Kick fumbles again. The ball is recovered by the Bills, but they fail to move it. In fact, lose yardage and have to punt. Now the Dolphins are driving on their next possession. Morrill throws a pass and it's ruled a lateral. Later on the film shows that the pass was actually forward and it was tipped and made it appear to be a lateral. Being ruled as a lateral, Don Shula protests the call and he is called for the unsportsmanlike penalty that cost them 15 more yards. So the Bills have the ball first and 10 on the Dolphins 21 yard line. Then we pick up the radio broadcast. Here's a handoff to O.J. Simpson, and he's thrown for a loss back to the 22-yard line by Manny Fernandez. The ball is at the Dolphins' 22-yard line, a second down and 11. Shaw drops the throw. Big work. He's thrown for a big loss. Way back to the 40. The ball is loose. Who's going to get it? Doug Swift has it. He loses it and goes out of bounds. But I believe they have blown the play dead back at about the 37-yard line. The Dolphins' defense just poured through. That time on Shaw, a minute and 49 seconds to go before the end of the first half. This has been a wild one. Bills 10, Dolphins 7. It's third down and 26. They have to get the ball down to the Dolphins 11 for a first down. J.D. Hill splits to the far side, Chandler to the near side. Here's Shaw back to throw, gets a rush. Here's the pass, it is caught inside the 30 by Hill. He has tackled and dropped at the 29. Now they put the ball at the 27. Leipold, who has a 35-yard field goal, will try this one. From the 34-yard line, Bob Chandler will hold. It's against the wind, waiting for the snap with 51 seconds to go in the half. Here it is. Dolphins have the kick block. Ronnie gets it up there, and he gets it just through the uplights for the field goal. 34 yards for John Leipold, and with 44 seconds to play before the end of the half, the Bills move out to a six-point lead, 13 to 7. Nine seconds, eight seconds. They will probably not get another one off before the end of the half. Nobody bothering call timeout. Both teams heading for the locker rooms as the time runs out in a wild first half. That's the end of the first half with the score. The Buffalo Bills 13, our Miami Dolphins 7. Sunoco announces the football event of the year. It's NFL Action 72. Here's Coach Don Shula to tell you about it. Now, Sunoco brings you something you parents will be interested in because it's fun for the entire family. Sunoco brings you NFL Action player stamps with stars from every pro team. Every time that you stop at a participating Sunoco station, you get a set of nine official NFL Action player stamps. Free. They're great to collect and trade. And to help you save your stamps, there are two official Stamp Saver albums. This regular edition is 89 cents. And for $2.49, you get this deluxe album full of facts and photos. Both albums come with 144 extra player stamps. So get your family in on the fun. Get NFL Action Player Stamps free at Soloco. 
The defense shut off uh, the Buffalo offense almost completely with only one first down in that first half. Just uh, 15 offensive plays, seven net yards passing, and 23 rushing yardage. And the Dolphins' unblemished record in jeopardy, at least at this stage. Here's the kick. He squibs it high. Deep down the far side, Cole grabs it a yard deep. Out to the five, the 10 in the middle, across the 15, and he smacked at the 20-yard line. A fine play by Charlie Babb on the Dolphins specialty squad as he makes the tackle, and he just about scissors him in half. 21-yard return by Lindsey Cole. So the uh, Bills will start moving from our left to our right toward the east end zone from their 20-yard line. Braxton and O.J. Simpson will be the running back. Simpson in the first half held at 22 yards on the ground. Braxton just six yards. J.D. Hill, Bob Chandler, the wide receivers are split left. Dennis Shaw, the quarterback, hands off to O.J. Stumbles as he comes across the right side on a slant play and gets about a yard to the 21, and that's all. He was hit hard by left quarterback Tim Foley. Yard gain on the play for Simpson. It'll be second down and nine. The Dolphins' defense has done its part, has given up 13 points. Nobody has scored over 17 on the Dolphins thus far on the season, but the offense has uh, had its problems. All right, uh, Hill splits to the left side. Chandler sets as a slot man left. Braxton and Simpson, the split backs behind Shaw. Second and nine, Buffalo. And they're 21. He spins, tries to get the hand off away. Hernandez comes in and almost steals the ball. He does. He stole the ball. The Dolphins have it at the Bills' 10-yard line. That's it. Get those white handkerchiefs out. Let's applaud the defense. Fernandez coming out out of a sick bed has played like a uh, whirling dervish this afternoon. The Tasmanian Devil. Shaw had fun behind the line of scrimmage trying to get a handoff to Braxton, and Fernandez was in so so quickly on him that time that he just took the ball, and he was the man who received the handoff. It's recorded as a recovered fumble as Fernandez stole the ball away from Dennis Shaw. So the Dolphins have the ball at the Bills' 10-yard line. Manny has been in the hospital all week with a severe chest cold, which was diagnosed last Sunday night when he went in as bordering on pneumonia. But he has played like, like a Tasmanian devil out here this afternoon. He has been all over Shaw. The Dolphins' offense has the ball just outside the Bills' 10-yard line. Kick and Zuck are the splitbacks. Behind Morrill, the handoff goes to Larry. Turns the left end. Five, four, one. time, Zorka just took the handoff. Paul Warfield shot two bills down with a great block as Zorka comes to the near side and rambles untouched in the end zone, 10 yards for his third TD, and Miami fights back. On a great play by Fernandez, Jepremian tries the point. Snap is high, Morrill sets it down, he gets it up, and it is called good. 13 minutes and 6 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Dolphin football action continues from the orange ball. With the score, our Dolphins 14 and Buffalo 13. What a great play that was by Fernandez. And you can't tell me that this guy, even for his size at 6'2", 250, and he plays a lot less under that. And coming off a sick bed all week, he was at Mercy Hospital. He's not one of the all-time greats in this, this, this game of NFL football. He is so quick and so strong and so determined. Shaw has thrown the ball only four times, two completions for seven yards. It'll be a third down and five. Here comes Bob Matheson in on the Dolphins' defense. Bills ball from their 25. You can feel the excitement in this crowd now. After Fernandez's great play, here is Shaw dropping the throw for the fifth time. He's being rushed. Now steps up, fires. It is caught by Hill. He is knocked down at the 33, and that's a first down. First down, that's only the second first down of the ball game for Buffalo at their 33-yard line. 11 minutes, 48 seconds to go in the third quarter. Dolphins lead 14 to 13. This has been a dandy. Hill puts to the far side. Chandler slot. Here's the pitch going to Simpson. He's trapped behind the line of scrimmage. Breaks the tackle. 35 across the 40 and out to about the 43. Fumbles the ball, but the whistle had been blown. Yard. Shaw has his ball club moving now. Gain of a yard. It'll be third down and four. The ball at the Dolphins' 48 and a half yard line. Dunaway is out. Matheson in on defense. Hill splits left. Chandler slot left. Simpson and Patrick just slip backs behind Dennis Shaw. Here comes Chandler in motion. Off to the near side. Shaw drops back to throw for the sixth time. Big rush, big rush. They jump up in the air. He throws the ball for a tackle. The only man near it was Donnie Green, the right tackle, and flags go down all over the place. And this is going to cost him. 
from the right side, the Dolphins had a three-man rush, and they came in with a hands up and forced uh, Shaw out of the pocket to the right, and he just threw the ball to get rid of it. But it is uh, ruled as an illegal touching call, which is also a loss of down and forces a punting situation. The uh, signal not clear. Charlie Lee back deep. Here's Jones punting against the wind. It's blocked! Ball's loose at the 25 and is going to go out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Curtis Johnson blocked it. There was nothing wrong with the snap. Johnson just came booming through there and blocked it. The Dolphins take over as the ball rolled out of bounds at the Buffalo 26-yard line. There is a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. Our Dolphins 14, Buffalo 13. Rick Weaver, Luke Rickmer, and Henry Barrow. Back at the Orange Ball, this Dolphin defense has been just great. Curtis Johnson just blocked his, uh, blocked his spike. Jones trying to roll out of bounds. A fourth down play at the 26th in Bill's territory, so that's where the Dolphins will put it in play. Dick and Zucker, the eye formation back behind Earl Morrow. Waiting for the snap. Long count at the line of scrimmage from Earl. Here's the snap. The pitch goes. The kick sweep to the right behind middle. He takes his man. Kick cuts back to the 20. Down to the 15. Down to the 13 yard line. Goes Jim Kick. First down as kick rambles for 13 yards, his longest gain from scrimmage on the season. It'll be a third and 21 for first down, 24 yards to go for a TD. Two consecutive, almost consecutive, delay of the game calls. The first one was not Earl's fault, but uh, this one was. And they uh, do not look like a smooth functioning offensive unit in this ball game. Seven minutes, six seconds to go in the third quarter. Dolphins leading 14 to 13. Behind Morrow from the Bills' 24-yard line. Earl rolls out to his right. He's got a fire flag down, throwing deep for Warfield. It's way over, thrown incomplete, but there's a flag on the play. And it might be a holding call. This uh, is a bad penalty here because it moves the Dolphins so far away from what uh, would be considered field goal territory. They have the ball at the Bills' 39-yard line. Fully splits wide Warfield to the near side. It's third down and 36 yards to go for a first down. At the Bills, 39. Morris and Zonka, the split backs behind Morrow. Morrow up at the line of scrimmage, barks the signal, hands off, trap play. Zonka through the middle, gets inside the 35. And is knocked off his feet at the 31. Again, we have a little pushing and jabbing back in the backfield, and a flag is thrown. Now let's see what's going to be on. Personal foul against Miami. And again, Dolphin mistake. So this sets the ball back uh, 15 more yards to the Bills, 47-yard line. And what has turned out to be a comedy of errors and penalty. It's fourth down and 44. And so uh, your premium field goal unit comes in. Now, Garrow's longest, 52 yards against Detroit in a preseason game. Morrow will hold. This will be a 56-yard attempt. Snap, set down. The kick is up. He's got the distance. It is gone. 54 yards, I beg your pardon, 54 yards field goal by Darrell Yacomian. 54 yards as the ball was set down at the 46 yard line, and that is the longest in Darrell's career. And the Dolphins lead by a score of 17 to 13. That is his longest field goal of his career, and it couldn't come at a better time. And this Dolphin defense should get a standing ovation. As they come on the field, they have really come to play in the second half. And they did an excellent job of that first half. With the offense, we're making all the mistakes. Third down and five. Shaw drops the throw from his 25. He sets. The ball is deflected by the rush. So the punting situation comes up. The last time Mr. Jones was back there, he had one driven down his throat by Curtis Johnson. Charlie Lee is back deep. Dick Anderson shallow. Line is scrimmage. Buffalo 25. Jones stands at the 10. Low snap. Bubbles the ball. He's going to have to run with it now. He's the 15 to the 20. Up to the 25. And he has really cracked at the 30-yard line, and he gets the first down. Heads up football and running by Spike Jones, the punter, a low snap. He had nowhere to kick it, and he was really flattened out. It'll be a third down and 11. For the Bills, the ball at their 32-yard line. Mike's name is really Taliaferro, but he prefers to be called Tolliver. J.D. Hill splits left, camera to the near side. He's back to throw. Here's the pass, and it's dropped. Off the hands of Jim Braxton. A little swing, screen pass, and Braxton couldn't hold it. So the punting situation comes up again, and the Dolphins' defense hold him. And Spike Jones, who's got one off the side of his foot, had a 62-yarder and had one blocked in this ball game. 
It's back at about the Bills 19. He's kicking against the wind. 3.38 to go in the third quarter. Here's the snap. A good one this time. Gets a rush. Almost blocked again. Low end over end kick. Anderson grabs it for the Dolphins at the 40. Cuts for the near side. Up to the 35. The 40. He is still going. Bouncing off backwards. A oh, tremendous effort. He shot out of the 47-yard line. By Dick Anderson. He grabbed that ball back to the 30. When a swarm of white jerseys was all over him and runs like a broken field runner, bouncing off tacklers, looking for the hole, and runs it back up to the Dolphins 47. He's tackled by Leon Guerrero and Andy Selfridge. 17 yard return. Two minutes, 23 seconds to play in the third period. The Dolphins lead 17 to 13 against a fired up Buffalo team, but uh, this Dolphin offense has made a lot of mistakes, a lot of costly penalties, fumbles on bad handoffs. Willie splits right, Warfield on the near side. It'll take him a week or so to get adjusted Earl. He fakes the handoff, play action, now falls down, backing up, and loses yardage back to about the 37-yard line. And so, with a fourth down situation, Larry Seifel, with a window to his back, uh, has to kick for the first time. He's averaging 42.2 yards per punt. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Dolphins lead 17 to 13. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. He gets the kick out of there, low end over end. It'll be grabbed by Hill at the Bills 21. Looks for the hole, 25, 30, and he's nailed at the 32. So Mike Tolliver comes in to direct the offense for the Bills again. And there's the gun. Ending the third quarter, Dolphin football action will continue from the Orange Bowl. The score, Miami 17, Buffalo 13. The Bills have the football with a third down at eight. The ball at the Dolphins 38-yard line. Tolliver brings them out. J.D. Hill splits far side. Chandler sets the slot man right. Simpson and Blackston. The split backs in behind Mike Tolliver. He drops back to throw on third down. He sets. He hit just. He raises the ball. It is incomplete. He was really cracked by Bill Stanfield. Just as he got the ball away. And the ball intended downfield, I believe, for, for uh, Jan White, the tight end, fell harmlessly to the ground. So we get uh, John Lapoke, the field goal kicker, who's already had a uh, kick two of 35 and 34 against the wind. Now we'll try one from 45 yards approximately. This one from 45 yards out. Straight in with the wind behind him. Snap. Set down. The kick is up. He's got the distance. It's good. So Lapo brings him right back into the ball game with 14-44 left to play. Dolphin football action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. Our Dolphin 17, the Bills 16. Ball up the Dolphins, 18, a third down and 12. Big play here for Earl. Warfield splits left, to leave to the near side. Kicking Zonka, split backs behind Morrow. He drops straight to throw. Fires, Warfield got it, 35. He is really cracked and holds onto the ball. First down for the Dolphins. And it's a 17-yard completion, actually 18 yards as they mark it at the 36. Ball up the Dolphins, 38. It'll be a third down and eight. Second, uh, Third down and eight with uh, 12 minutes and 14 seconds left to play in the ball game. Dolphins leading by one, 17 to 16. The ball at the Dolphins, 38. Warfield splits left, 20 to the near side. Kick and Zonka remain the running back. Morrill drops the throw. He has time, fires. It is intended for Mark Fleming. And a flag goes down and pass interference, I believe, is going to be called on uh, Buffalo's left cornerback, Robert James. They're going to put the ball up to the 43-yard line. They do not call pass interference. They call defensive holding. They call defensive holding, and the Dolphins will get uh, a first down out of this, of course. It was not pass interference. It was defensive holding. Call on James. So that's a five-yard penalty and an automatic first down instead of the 15-yarder. And the Dolphins have the ball at their 43-yard line with a first down. Morrill up under center, box the signal, waiting for the snap. Here's the handoff kick. Cutter playing the middle, big hole, 50, 45, 40, down to the 37 yard line goes Jim Pick. Ball is put down at the Buffalo 36 yard line. It'll be a second down coming up and nine for the Dolphins. 10 minutes, 52 seconds left to go. Dolphins lead by one, 17 to 16. Warfield splits left. Belief is a wingman right. Kick and Zonka the split box and behind Morrow. From the Bills 36, here's the handoff to kick. Sweep to the right. Behind Little gets the corner turn down to the 30. Back in across the 25. It is knocked down at the 24-yard line. First down for the Dolphins. Alvin Wyatt, the weak safety. Boy, I'll tell you, when that Little gets out in front of you, it's like having uh, a whole blocking wedge in front. He just eats people alive. As Kick picks up the first down to the Bills 24-yard line. Kick is out, and Morris comes in. Dolphins offensive backfield. 
Ball is at Buffalo 24. First down for the Dolphins with 10 minutes and 12 seconds to play. Dolphins leading 17 to 16. Morrow with his best drive going since the first quarter. Warfield splits left. Billy to the near side. Morris and Zonka are the split backs in behind Earl Morrow. From the Bills 24 yard line. Waiting for the snap. Here's the handoff. Morris. Big hole in the middle. 20. 15 down to the 14 yard line. Squirts Mercury Morris. The tackle made by strong safety Maurice Tyler. And they're going to mark it at the 15. And that will be just about a yard shy of a first down. Morris picks up nine yards. It'll be second down and one. That Dolphin line, offensive line, really firing out now. They need to get to the 14 for a first down. The ball is at the 15. Second down and one. Warfield splits to the far side. Bully. Just off a couple of yards to the right side. Morris and Zonka. The split backs behind Morrill. Here's the handoff to Mercury. Sweep to the right. Cuts back to his left. 15, 10, 5. He scores! to the right side and then cut back to his left. A great block thrown by Larry Little. You just cannot say what this guy means to that offensive line. He just hammered people that time. And Morris sweeps in from 15 yards out. You're coming in to try the point from placement. Morrow will hold. 9-18 to go. Dolphins lead 23-16. Snap, set down, and pick his up. And it is perfect. 9-18 to go on the ball game. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score, Miami 24, Buffalo 16. Seven minutes, 29 seconds to go in this ball game. Dolphins lead 24-16. Third down, long yardage, 27 for the Bills from their 35-yard line. On the snap, Tolliver drops the throw. He has time this time. He fires. It is caught and almost beheaded as Chandler shakes off the tackle. He's caught by again by Dick Anderson, who is holding on and riding him like a, uh, riding him like a bulldog steer. At the 39-yard line. And the Dolphin defense gets a well-deserved ovation as it comes off once again for the umpteenth time they have held this Buffalo offense. Jones has had one block this afternoon. Will stand back at the 24. The line of scrimmage to Buffalo 39. Charlie Lee is deep. Back up the uh, Miami 15. Jones kicking with the wind behind him. Gets off a wobbly spiral to the near side. Charlie Lee grabs it from Miami at the 15. Cuts to the near sideline to the 20. Shakes the tackle. And it's tipped up from behind at the 21. Charlie Lee with about a six-yard return down on the uh, specialty teams. Ex-Dolphin Dale Farley. There is a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score are Dolphins 24, the Bills 16. Here's Zonka on the handoff. He sweeps the right side and booms his way out to about the 30-yard line. Larry Zonka, a nine-yard pickup. As they gave us a short timeout, and we just barely got back in time. Morrill handed off to Zonka. He swept the right side and picks up about nine. It'll be second down and one. Tackled by Robert James. Miami has made uh, a tremendous number of mistakes. Penalties, fumbles, turnovers, a pass interception, run back for a touchdown. But the defense has really held them together here in the second half especially. And also in the first half. Uh, third down and 15. Dolphins from the 29. Here is the handoff. Goes to Zonka, and Zonka hits the right side and is uh, immediately met by a host of white jerseys after short yardage, gets it out to the 31, so Seifel will have to punt. Waiting for the snap, Howard Kendig, an old Buffalo Bill snapping the ball, he gets it to Seifel, he gets one up there and hangs it, doesn't go very far, bounces the Bills 42 inside the 40, and touches the Dolphin and is going to be down at the 35. And the ball is put down for the Bills at their 36. Larry Zonka has now gone over 100 yards for the third time this year and the ninth time in his career. Larry Zonka with an excellent uh, rush average this afternoon. Simpson and Braxton behind Tolliver of the splitbacks. Uh, J.D. Hill and Chandler, the wide receivers. Now Chandler moves from the left to the right side in motion. And the Bills, 36, handoff to Braxton, finds a hole, cuts back to his right across the 40, 45, out to the 47-yard line. Two minutes, 43 seconds left to go. The Dolphins leading 24 to 16. This one is still not out of the woods. J.D. Hill splits to the near side. Chandler off to the far side. First down, Bills from their 47. Tolliver drops the throw. He sets. He now is breaks out of the pocket. Going to run with it. 45, 50. Into Dolphin territory at the 45. Eludes the tackler to the 40 and is knocked down at the Miami 38-yard line. Definitely a scramble situation. Two minutes. 17 seconds to go. Dolphins with an eight-point lead. The Bills on the march for the first down at the Dolphins 38-yard line. 
There is the two-minute warning. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score, our Dolphins 24 and the Bills 16. The story of this ball game has been the Dolphin defense taking the offense and their mistakes off the hooks this afternoon. Mike Tolliver, who has moved this football team better than Shaw did, on fourth down and nine from the Dolphins 25. Tolliver hands off. Here's that wide open draw play again. Braxton 20, 15. He's got the first down inside the 15 down to the 13 yard line. Tackle made by cornerback uh, Lloyd Mumford, and he rambles for uh, 12 yards for a first down. Buffalo calls another timeout to stop the clock. They have to get the ball just across the three for a first down. They have six yards to go for a score. Third down coming up. Braxton comes back in, and Patrick is out of the Bills' offensive backfield. A minute and 13 seconds left to play as Chandler got that ball out of bounds on the reception. He's out of the huddle, splits to the far side. J.D. Hill comes to the near side. The Dolphins leading 24 to 16. Minute 13 to go from the six-yard line. Tolliver drops the throw. Good protection. He fires. Caught. Touchdown, Braxton. Leipold, who has been perfect this afternoon on extra points, has three field goals of 45, 35, and 34 yards. We'll try the point. Chandler holds. The kick is up. And it is good. So with a minute and seven seconds left to go, the Dolphins now must hold on to this football and keep field position away from the Buffalo Bills the way Leipold's been kicking this afternoon. The score, the Dolphins 24, the Bills 23, and we got to play these guys again two weeks from today. Clay Polk waiting for the official's whistle. He comes forward, gets the toe into the ball, and he kicks it high. Not too deep. Charlie Lee grabs it back at the 13, to the 15, to the 20, cutting for the near side, and he's knocked down at the 20-yard line. A seven-yard return. Clay Polk got the ball high. He didn't get it deep. And that's, uh, I don't know what they were trying to do there. The Dolphins have the football at the 20-yard line with 38 seconds to go, leading by a score of 24 to 23, kicking Zonka. On the split backs behind Morrill, he just falls on the ball right at the line of scrimmage, and they're going to run the clock out. Morrill brings his ball club out. His time is in, ready to go with 20 seconds left to play at the 20-yard line. Morrill just falls on the football. At the snap, 16 seconds, 15 seconds. 14 seconds. Buffalo was charged with a timeout on that injury. And they do not have any timeouts left. Seven seconds. Six seconds. Five seconds. The Dolphins have won this ball game. Remain the only unbeaten team in football. By the hair on their chinny chin chin. 24 to 23 as the gun sounds. The final score. Our Dolphins 24. Buffalo 23.